I think it's a good opportunity um, that I'm lucky to be here. Um, it changes the way you work and um, it's good to meet people in other countries and experience a different culture. Um, I think I do agree that it's different to the work I've made in the past, but um, I think um, often I'm not too sure whether I actually want to, to continue making photographs, so um, get, just getting bored with seeing photos on a wall in a frame and not going much beyond that, so this is yet a different format for me using zines, so it is a bit more experimental than what I have been doing in the past, but um, like it, my work has always been kind of cynical, so it's kind of in the same line as that, but now I guess I found it maybe using a different format for, for my work is more interesting for me than you know, just fight, fighting against trying to use just photography and video. Um, but I don't, I don't think it's about confusion. Uh, yeah, but it is, yeah, I guess if I'm challenging myself, then it is about getting out of my comfort zone. But again, being in another country is also being out of your comfort zone. So I think it's kind of, um, I don't know, it's like, it's inevitable that I'd be out of my comfort zone here. No, it's not looking for an answer. Uh, like, maybe it's just that I wanted to make something that was important to the culture here because I felt like if I made work that I'd made in the past that mm -hmm. it would be misunderstood or not understood or uh, was interesting for people here. And so, yeah, I did some research and um, uh, there's so many photocopy shops here and like there's quite a resurgence of photo zines in Melbourne at the moment and here I haven't seen like hardly any, maybe there's a few that I don't know about because it's hard for me to also access the culture because I don't speak the language so <laughs> I'm, I'm sure they exist but I don't think as many as in Melbourne so I thought it was interesting to maybe yeah, access a part of the culture which is photocopying which is common in everyday practice and, and you know like you're copying books instead of buying them and um, yeah and then also to try and make people think about oh, how else can you use a photograph and you know you can you don't have to make a book because uh, I think that sometimes people will go for that for that step first before starting with small it's like oh I can because it's possible now to make a book anywhere really like well the workshop's part of the program so I had to do a workshop as part of the residency but the, um, the zine like make a zine library why I made that was because um, after doing more research into the zine series um, yeah, um, they're not really collected in libraries here, and so um, like in Australia we have zine libraries and um, shops where you can buy zines from and stuff. But here, like um, that part of history kind of just gets lost, and I think it's like a really important part of like un, you know alternative history, like um, uh, like um, underground music, art, politics, everything. And if you don't collect it in your libraries, then who collects it? Like and the public can't access it so yeah I thought to make this library and then to donate it to Kunchi like um, at least people can then access it and maybe it starts the libraries being aware of collecting I think C2O library stuff there's collecting scenes and stuff but um, yeah I don't know about the national libraries here and stuff if you have collections of scenes but, um, and the collaboration um, I chose to collaborate with um, um, nine female artists because um, yeah just to um, I guess it's more about sharing culture like if if there's, um, if a artist residency is about like cultural exchange then shouldn't you exchange your ideas with someone else and I think collaboration is a good um, challenge also especially if you can't if English is a second language it makes it a little bit difficult but it's it's still good well. They're all slightly different. So um, one is with my sister who lives in Australia, where I live as well. But when, when I was over here, I emailed her um, after she'd sent me a photo that looked similar to mine. And so I thought, oh, that's interesting. Maybe we can do a project where we, um, she sends me her photos and I see if we have any the same. And it turned out there were quite a few, so we made a zine out of that. But the other projects is more 
and either people I met with and who, who became I became friends with while I was here and who are artists or writers or musicians or anything really and um, yeah just having that personal relationship with them and then also um, I got some suggestions of some other people oh maybe you should also work with this person they're interesting and maybe good for your project so um, I emailed them and then met with them and so some of them I've known for maybe four months and some only like one month so it's different every time. Well maybe I'll start with the library so um, yeah I asked um, my friend a Chong to help me and then I copied his scenes and then he put me onto Bayou and he I copied his scenes and then I met with Dina and she told me to contact Minus and so then I copied his scenes and yeah it kind of was like this spiral effect where you tell someone and someone else tells another person and then um, yeah it was just kind of going to the photo sh copy shop with someone who could speak Indonesian so they could ex explain how I wanted them to copy it and that you know I want them to copy it exactly the same like in colour or um, with the coloured cardboard covers and yeah then stapling them all together and making sure they're in the right order yeah <laughs> so that was interesting and more time consuming than I thought um, uh, with the workshop um, I'd never done a workshop before and I'm um, freaking out a bit because I didn't really know what I was supposed to do and I just put um, like paper scissors glue kind of anything you'd need to make that cut and paste zine and provided a printer and um, just put out the poster and then some people registered and, um, and the first day was supposed to be photo zines but it didn't kind of go as planned because not a lot of people yeah we only had a black and white print on the first day too but yeah not a lot of people brought photos with them um, so a lot of people end up doing collage and that kind of thing and then the second day was um, mixed media and so people collaging again and then the third day was collaboration so trying to get people to work together and yeah it was really fun people stayed longer than I anticipated like from started at maybe three three o'clock I think the workshop and then finished at six but people would stay till 12 o'clock at night and just hang out and have like play music and yeah um, and then with the collaboration um, yeah, it was pretty loose. I think um, I, I guess um, I didn't really know how to go about coordinating it because there were nine different people. So I kind of would set up these separate meetings, try and talk about what we'd do. Or, um, for example, like one girl Ita lived in another city, so um, we'd be emailing each other, from, and there was so much miscommunication, and we'd talk over Skype, and then the connection would be bad, or. Yeah, and then when she got to Jogja, she had this like amazing amount of work that she'd done, and I was still confused about how we were collaborating, and yeah, um, and she was too. But yeah, now now we've, now that she's in Jogja and the Open Studio started, I understand yeah the ideas that she was talking about, and I'm starting to make the my response to her work, and yeah, a lot of the collaborations are quite different. Like, so that one is like responding, and then. Um, me and Laurie with the scenes where we're taking photos, it's like we're both doing the same thing, but then combining it. So, yeah, there's um, a few different methods, but yeah, then um, towards the end, everyone started coming to, to mess from um, the space was empty, and now we can all work together and we shall be as well. So, yeah, I think so. <laughs> and, um, it's funny that Open Studio. Um, actually looks kind of like an exhibition even though it's not quite finished yet like because we've put um, some installation like like objects that we've been thinking about or using or that we will utilize for example like media are doing the mix cd or yeah um ellie bought some spices which will be sticking inside the zine 